to a breaking news update. A mass shooting in the heart of Russia. Gunmen opened fire at a concert hall in a suburb of Moscow. The building then went up in flames. Officials say at least 60 are dead, nearly 150 more injured. CBS News Your Monterey is tracking the developments from the control room tonight. The images from Russia are horrific. Concert goers take cover as gunshots instead of music echoed inside a theater. <laughs> While minutes before, surveillance captured men with guns storming the popular concert venue and mall area where they opened fire, shooting and killing people at close range. From all outward appearances was a carefully prepared and well-executed attack. ISIS has claimed the responsibility. DePaul University professor Tom Makaitis, who specializes in foreign terrorism, explains why ISIS would target Russia. You've got a belt of Islamic uh, states that are states with majority Muslim populations who have not been terribly treated well by the Russian Federation. The attack, while carried out by a handful, involved more than just guns. Explosive devices were used, which caused the fires, and that continues to drive the death toll and numbered injured up. But what they've learned is the same thing, sadly, we've learned from mass shootings in the United States, that determined individuals with, with firearms, semi-automatic firearms, um, supplemented by light explosives, can carry out a devastating attack. Earlier this month, the U.S. Embassy in Russia said it was monitoring reports that extremists have imminent plans to target large gatherings in Moscow. It advised Americans to stay away from concert venues. As for how this attack will impact the U.S., if any, Makaikis doubts the terror level will increase. Right now, our biggest threat still comes from far-right extremists who were born and raised right here in the United States. Now, CBS News also reports that there is no known threat to the U.S. brewing from what happened in Moscow. In the control room, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.